everybody. Uh, what we're going to do is have a small tutorial about using the free transform tool and importing an image. So we've already done this before, but I just want to recap. The way you put in an image into InDesign is going to be file, place, because if you don't place it, you will possibly lose the link and you'll get a pixely image and you'll be like, why, why? So with this, I'm going to go ahead and use the orange cat for this tutorial because he or she is pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that. Again, what we talked about last time was I can hold and drag to pull it to the proportion that I'd like. And boom, there it is. I just love doing that instead of clicking down. And here's a tiny bit of that. Click down, right? Because it's just simply too big. And then I have to zoom out and then resize it. I don't want to do that. I just like to keep things kind of close to the way I want in InDesign. And in order to zoom in and out, of course, I'm currently on a trackpad, uh, but you can use Command minus or plus to incrementally change that for zooming. So this is a little tiny FYI bonus tutorial. And what I want to do is use the free transformation tool in order to resize this. So previously we talked about just using the selection tool and the direct selection tool to change the frame and the inside, which is the content of the frame. This tool will do both at the same time. So on the toolbar, it's kind of, for me, it's towards the middle of my toolbar. I'm currently using advanced settings um, in InDesign. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So it's like a little picture frame and then it has a little selection or direct selection tool on it. I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to go ahead and move. And notice that this is kind of maybe closer to what you're used to using other programs. But notice that if I go too thin, it's all squishy and I don't really necessarily want that. I'm going to go ahead and undo. What I can do is go ahead and gearing up. Here's my corner. And I'm going to hold the shift button at the same time. And notice that you can see the frame size is going to move and stay in that nice constricted way. So freeze transformation, that means that I can move it any way I want, any way I please. But say for instance, if I want to still control or have the same type of aspect ratio for my image, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and I can start pulling in and out without uh, worrying about creating a squishy image. So that in essence is the free transformation tool and how you can limit that with the shift key, holding that down so you can transform freely. Thank you so much and see you again.